the name of Allah, the most uh, merciful, the most gracious. Hi, how you doing everybody? I hope everybody is doing very well. Now, today's uh, uh, episode that I am uh, going to shed light on the subject of uh, uh, signs of Jethro's day and the coronavirus and how the Prophet and how Prophet Muhammad predicted it. So not only his, he predicted what happened, what's, going, what's happening right now, but also what is going to happen. Now there are factors that I'm going to say they back up my uh, analysis and say that uh, the affliction of uh, the coronavirus is actually this affliction. No, it's the coronavirus affliction that's happening right now, not the affliction that happened at the time of Hazrat Omar uh, and who was what is known as the plague of Amwas or Ta'ud Amwas as the explanatory narrators have uh, indicated in the uh, in their books uh, for example Fath al-Bari and uh, the book is uh, Bukhari uh, where the hadith is narrated in the book of Bukhari and the, the, uh, and the section is the book of Jizya and Muada also, uh, it was uh, reported in other, uh, like the sayings of the Prophet, that's another section, uh, al wasaya which is advices, the book of advices. But this is, uh, now, let's look at it. Let's, let's, let's look at the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the narration by Awf ibn Malik. I want to Prophet uh, peace be upon him on, uh, during the Ghazwa of Tabuk. Uh, while he was sitting in a leather tent, he said, count six signs that indicate the approach of the hour, my death, the conquest of Jerusalem, a plague that will afflict you and kill you in great numbers, as the plague that afflicts sheep, the increase of wealth to such an extent that even if one is given 100 dinars, he will not be satisfied. Then an affliction which no Arab house will escape. And then a truce between you and Bani Alas for the Byzantines who will betray you and attack you under, uh, under 80 flags. Under each flag will be 12,000 soldiers. Okay, so this is the narration. Now my take on this narration, it will be backed up by evidence. Okay, so and I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying it and it's, it's up to the audience to think about it. But my, uh, my uh, proof of what I'm saying is, for example, the Prophet, peace be upon him, uh, he said on this uh, that a plague that will afflict you and kill you in great numbers as the plague that afflicts the sheep. Okay, so when you go and see the Arabic uh, explanatory in Fath al Bari, uh, it basically clarifies that this disease that hits the sheep, first of all, the criteria of this disease that it will cause the sheep, or it's not the sheep actually, it's called ghadab. Ghadab is the goats. Sheep is the uh, kharuf. So it's not kharuf, it is sheep, ghadab. Uh, the ghadab the will have ka'iqas al-ghadab, ka'iqas al-ghadab, which uh, they say the disease is ka'iqas al-ghadab. And this, uh, it, uh, this, the symptoms of this disease is that they will have runny nose, that they will have sudden uh, sudden death in their spot they will drop dead all right on the spot okay and they will have a runny nose okay and also it's uh, you know some of them they say the chest is, is a, uh, a chronic uh, you know it's a, uh, you know it's like in their chest it will cause them to have a runny nose so this this kind of symptoms resembles the the, the, the the virus of corona or the the coronavirus uh, 
epidemic. Okay, so and it and also it says it's a plague, a plague, and over an epidemic, and it is an epidemic. You know, uh, now the, the the historical narrators or the historical explanatory uh, uh, scholars they usually say that this happened at the time of Umar ibn al-Khattab, Ta'ul Abwas, or the plague of Abwas. But see, look, that plague is it, it was for uh, a, a confined. Uh, territory in the Arabian Peninsula only where the uh, caliphates are and the Prophet did not say you know it will hit uh, you know the Arabs why did he say the you know in, the, in one of the hadiths he he or, or it, it, one of the conditions of the hadith he said uh, which no Arab house will escape that's a different he's he's pointing that this, you know, if something is uh, in mass or if something is going to be geographically uh, bounded, right? So, uh, the only uh, plague that is uh, not geographically bounded is this plague that uh, is coronavirus and it, and it does resemble the disease of the uh, of the sh uh, of the goats that will uh, you know which is uh, known to have runny nose and then sudden death you know another factor you know to prove my point also that the had the the conditions are col uh, uh, colorated with each other okay for example the he what happened What's happening right now is the, the the coronavirus. What's going to happen is a recession. And the Hadith also predicted a recession. And the recession is very, very clear. It says that the increase of wealth to such an extent that even if one is given 100 dinars, he will not be satisfied. Okay. Now, the scholars who explain the hadith that they say that this is should be at the time of Jesus and it's not a recession it's actually it's opposite of that they say, they're thinking that it's an abundance of wealth and it is true that the, that time will happen at the time of uh, Imam Mahdi and Jesus will be about him an abundance of wealth you know everybody is happy about it but this hadith this particular hadith is saying that it's an abundance of wealth but people would not be satisfied even if they give them a hundred uh, dinars you know why you know why because this is an indication of uh, losing purchasing power losing purchasing power of the money so you have an inflation okay and inflation is basically you have a hundred let's say a hundred dollars or a hundred dollar in your hand and you're still not satisfied you're not pleased with it they will increase your salary but it's not uh, it's not uh, uh, it doesn't cut right So this hadith also, uh, this uh, point, we are, we all uh, hear uh, now from uh, big uh, economists about the recession that's about to happen is 2020. Now we say that yes, it's going to happen and money will lose its power and they all co uh, uh, correlate, correlate with the, uh, the, events that happening right now so one event after another and so there is a chronological order here so the the, the plague then we have uh, an inflation of money an abundance of money but inflation basically people are going to print money and there's a lot of money but it's not going to be uh, uh, people will not be satisfied then and, and, and this is all this is around the world okay then an affliction which no Arab house will escape. So there's a such there's a, uh, such an event that's going to happen also after that, that basically it is bounded to geographical area, which is the you know the uh, the, the only the Arabs are uh, afflicted by it. I think this is something that will enter each house as the the. Uh, 
as the hadith said so it has to be through the media and it has to be something that understood by them so it's the you know it is broadcasted or told or you know said by the phones you know uh, cell phones for example and uh, it could be a poll for example a poll for something that they don't all agree on you know and something that will divide them it's an affliction affliction usually divide people okay so And there it says there a truce between you and Bani Asfar and suddenly jumped, you know, the hadith jumped into a truce. So where's the war? It did not indicate the war, but it, it indicates the truce. So whatever it is that affliction have divided the Arabs and some of them uh, or it made the truce, then that means the you know a war came of some kind between the the Byzantines, what we'll say in today's world, it could be resemble the uh, aqua, aqua, uh, or it could resemble the NATO and the Russians and some of the Spanish, uh, you know, uh, air, you know, countries like Brazil, Portuguese, you know, so. and uh, you know the US Australia New Zealand so th it's going to be a treaty but there after the, it's going to be betray will betray you and they will attack you under any flag so I think there's going to be a World War three you know and the World War three is not going to be China it's going to be in the Middle East e and uh, it's going to be a ground troop thing because they say uh, each other or under each flag will be 12,000 soldiers. So it's a ground troop, it's a World War Three. Okay. All right, so this is just uh, my take on it, and uh, it's my opinion. Uh, and uh, I thought I'll put it out there. It's up to you to think and reflect. And uh, the most important thing is to to give you light uh, seek and it will be given to you right so everybody uh, just continue prayer and stay in peace